Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at Microsoft Excel and spreadsheets and we've done a video previously about the subtotal function which is a formula that you use for the subtotal but in this video we're looking at the subtotal feature which is a very different aspect of Excel. So let's get into it. So here we've got a spreadsheet and we've got a bunch of information here in a table format and let's say we want to find out some statistics particularly for example on this a money that's donated or a score but we want the statistics based on different groups so for example we've got a lot of different groups here we've got different group people doing sports we've got different grades with different classes how can we group this information and get specific information for each grouping so what you can do is we can use the subtotal feature for that but the key setup that you need to make sure that you have is that the data is sorted according to how you want the grouping to occur so in this case you can see that everything's sorted according to the sport it's all in it's all grouped together the sport so we're going to do a subtotal based on that so i can literally just click here and it and excel will actually try to figure out what table you want to use and i'm going to come here to data and then i'm going to go all the way here to the subtotal feature and when I click on this, these options appear. So you can see straight away, it's really, it's really highlighted the whole table, which is great. It's already done that for me. And it's identified that the sport is probably what we want to group it according to. And then we've got all these features over here, like sum, count, min, max, product, whole bunch of options, like some statistics. So let's say we want to find the average donated for each sport. So we can click on the donated option if we want to make sure it's donated. We can even find the average of the score. You can only find the, the same function on multiple fields, but you can't do the sum of one and then the average of the other. So we want it on everything. And then you just click OK. And once you do that, these things appear on the side. And you'll notice that there's a, a new row that's been added under golf, which now gives me the average donated for the golf and the average score of all those that, that do golf. And if I move down, there's a tennis average, there's a soccer average, and so on. So there's lovely little averages for each thing. And right at the bottom, we have a grand average. And right here on the side, we've got different levels. So, for example, we are currently in level 3 where we can see everything. If I go to level 2, then it'll just show me the averages for the different groupings. And if I go to level 1, it'll just show me the overall values. So you can undo those by just clicking back on the levels that you want. Um, you can also click on these little minus symbols to like to hide a particular group. Maybe you don't want to see the golf group and you don't want to see the soccer group. Then you can actually hide that particular group and you can unhide it by clicking back on that plus sign to get it back open. So those are little features that you want. Now let's say we want to group it according to the grade. Well, then we need to undo this grouping. So I'm going to come back to the subtotal feature click on it and we're going to remove all so now we're back now I need to actually sort it by the grade so I'm going to highlight everything highlight everything and then we're going to go back to home and then go to the sort feature we're going to do a little custom sort we want to sort it yes our data has headings correct sort it according to grade and if we do that now it's grouped according to grade and now when we do the data subtotal feature we can now group it according to grade and find the maybe we want to find the max donator the max score and if i click ok on that now we've got it grouped according to the grade eights and so on so there's the uh, the, uh, the max donated for the grade eights and that's the max score amongst the grade eights and so on and so on and so on and we've got back to these levels and so on so there we go i want to show you what it looks like if we do a subtotal and it's not sorted so no, let me go remove sorry that remove all so let's do a subtotal and we're going to do it on sport and you'll notice the sport is not sorted and let's do the max and it's going to be it's going to do this group of golf and then tennis and then a bit of soccer and then basketball so it doesn't actually work very nicely so ideally you want to make sure that your data is sorted according to the field that you want to group it by and then you can just go yeah to data click on the subtotal option and you can group it according to those values. You could also make use of the group option here for the top, for example, maybe you want to group all those values together, you can actually group it. And what it does is it does that little grouping very similar to what we had on the side, but at the top. 
so that we can hide certain data and, and make it uh, uh, expand it a little bit as well. And then you can just ungroup it if you want to get rid of it. So, so you've got those options all here under outline, under data. So that's how you use the subtotal feature. For more videos on Excel, go to our playlist. You'll see lots of different options there for Excel for access. Click on our subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.